Hi there, I'm Gabe Hollenby, a Senior Developer Advocate at Amazon Web Services. In this session, we're going to talk about creating engaging customer contact center experiences powered by Amazon Connect and several other AWS AI, ML, and compute services. Here's the agenda for today. It looks at the opportunity that's ahead, the pillars of excellence around customer experience, how customer engagement and customer experience is viewed and executed at Amazon, We'll introduce Amazon Connect, and I'll provide an overview of the AWS customer experience portfolio. And we'll look at the future of what customer engagement looks like. The target audience for this session are people that are new to Amazon Connect, folks that are non-technical, business users and team leaders, and generally anyone who's initially reviewing the move to AWS for contact center as a service. And for those wanting to leverage AWS CCX for their customer experience initiatives. So what is customer experience? Here's one view. This is Amazon's view. It's not necessarily everyone's view, but there are some common themes that we look at around the retention of customers. Things like minimize churn. We also seek to grow customers' lifetime value, since that essentially allows us to continue to grow and we leverage the loyalty we're able to garner from our customers to yield evangelism. And that allows us to continue to grow with more customers. So in other words, excellence in customer experience will drive positive customer advocacy and loyalty. We have a number of publicly referenceable customers. Here are some. And the key message here is that you have many types of customers who use Amazon Connect. Could be one user, could be tens of thousands of users, but you have the opportunity to leverage the innovation that takes place on the platform across the world that may be influenced by customers such as those that you see here today. Our 175 plus products on the AWS cloud are all influenced by customers and our product feature request process within AWS ensures that all the ongoing innovation on AWS and specifically Amazon Connect will be available to those organizations who choose to use Amazon Connect whether you're one user or whether you're 10,000 users. So what we've seen is that creating meaningful experiences is crucial. 89% of marketing leaders expect that customer experience will be their primary basis for competitive differentiation. What we've also seen in one particular report, which is the KPMG Customer Experience Excellence Report, looks at six key pillars or attributes that are clearly demonstrated by those organizations who deliver CX excellence. These are personalization, integrity, expectations, resolution, customer effort, and empathy. Let me bring you to specific attention on personalization and customer effort. These two have been the hallmark for most customer engagement and customer experience practitioners for at least a decade. How do we make engagement between business agents and its customers as personalized as possible? And how do we remove the effort that exists so that we ensure that both the customer experience and the agent experience is at its highest level and frictionless? The six pillars of excellence. Here are takeaways listed in front of you. The one that I would like to bring the most attention to is point number five a mechanism for prioritizing and sequencing in the customer experience implementation. And that's going to be key in terms of how you then look to AWS and specifically Amazon Connect to deliver CX excellence in your organization. So this is how we think about customer experience at Amazon. Our mission, as most of you may know, is to be Earth's most customer-centric company. Within our Amazon.com business, there are six key customer service tenets that they abide by or adhere to. And these six tenets are aligned to the pillars of excellence that was reported by the KPMG report shown earlier. So we relentlessly advocate for our customers. We trust our customers. We treat their time and attention as sacred. And then we head into these personalized and peculiar experiences, removing the effort. And finally, we have a point around eliminating that customer effort through the sequential and systematic approach. Defect elimination, self-service automation, and support from an expert associate, again, talks to that personalization and effort piece 
of the pillars of excellence. So Amazon Connect today supports millions and millions of customers around the world, across many countries and dozens of languages, which are supported by 70,000 customer service agents. This is a reflection of our continued focus on being Earth's most customer-centric company, even though we're online. About 13 years ago, we were faced with a challenge around the technology that was available in order for us to deliver to these customer experience objectives. And these aren't too dissimilar to what you're all probably facing today. We're now at a point where we're trying, as mentioned earlier, to continue to adapt to the changing demands of customers. Yet, we're somewhat burdened by our current legacy solutions and the cost associated with those legacy solutions to meet those expectations as we were no different 13 years ago. We couldn't find a solution in the marketplace to meet our expectations. Because what we were looking for was something that could scale. We knew that we were going to scale exponentially, or at least we had a view to that. And we knew it had to be reliable, because as you know, in customer experience and customer engagement, reliability is key. They had to be open, because we knew that various technologies were emerging that we needed to leverage in order to deliver to these personalization experiences. And overall, it had to be simple. Our environment looked like this. This was a customer engagement challenge, and no doubt it's very similar to some of those who are listening today. There's a number of systems that have been acquired over many, many years to deliver to these ever-changing expectations from customers. So as a result, in order to make them work, they've been brought together with an intricate web of integrations across various systems. And then, what's happened is the ability to innovate and iterate with these platforms has brought us into a period of stasis over the last few years. This is what we also looked at 13 years ago when we decided at Amazon, the only way to address this is to build it ourselves. And what we built was, and still is, called GACD. GACD is the underpinning platform that supports the Amazon retail environment. We built GACD to deliver to that simplicity, that reliability, that scalability challenge. Customers around five years ago who wanted to explore how Amazon was able to deliver over the last decade, this excellent customer experience, wanted to see what was being used. And what was being used was very much proprietary to Amazon and therefore could not be offered to those customers who were seeking use of it. Again, being customer focused in our product releases, what did we decide to do? We released to market in early 2017, Amazon Connect. It's a similar platform to what's supporting the Amazon.com environment. And it's one application, very simple, with skills-based routing, self-service IVR call recording, chat, and reporting. It is an easy-to-use, cloud-based contact center solution that will scale to support any business of any size. And it will grow according to the needs of your business. Inherent in Amazon Connect is skills-based contact routing. All calls are recorded, inbound and outbound. There are standard real-time and historical metrics available within Amazon Connect. The quality of voice is delivered through WebRTC, and most recently, Amazon Connect gained the ability to deliver both synchronous and asynchronous messaging. We talk about setting up an Amazon Connect instance in five steps, five minutes. And this is a short demonstration on how easy those five steps are in order for you to get going. You can store users in Amazon Connect, link to an existing directory, or use SAML to enable single sign-on for your contact center. You would then configure an administrator account. Now that you've configured an administrator, the next step is to configure the telephony options for your instance. You can then configure your data storage and encryption options, which is provisioned in an S3 bucket by default. After reviewing your settings, click the Create Instance button. When you search or access our site on www.amazon.com connect, what you'll see and enter into is the Get Started button. And this is where you'll land, the five steps. And the first step is identity management. You can set up how the users are stored in Amazon Connect. You could link it to an existing directory, or you could use SAML for single sign-on for your contact center. Then, of course, you can configure an administrator account within Amazon Connect. There are telephony options that you can tick and choose, which is either inbound or outbound or both. 
and all those interactions that are taking place within Connect will be stored in an S3 bucket, which is available by default and fully encrypted. You then review your settings, click the Instance button, and then you're ready to go. The next step after this is to claim your number. And it's as simple as that to get started on your first Amazon Connect Contact Center as a Service. The simplified UI is the first starting point in really getting familiar with what's possible in Amazon Connect. It is configurable as opposed to heavy code. And these configurable boxes within the Contact Flow Designer are the actions that you can do in real time to influence how calls are handled through that Contact Flow process. The AWS Cognitive CX portfolio talks to bringing together some of the key services associated to customer experience, but available as discrete services on the AWS cloud. We looked at delivering a data-driven, AI-enabled CX capability, where customers can engage with their customers in a more intuitive way and leverage the machine learning strength of AWS to deliver improved outcomes for customers through predictive insights. This is because we've seen and will continue to see an ever-increasing collection of data. Yet, less than 1% of that data is used, and customers will expect now that businesses will leverage that data in some way, shape, or form to enable their engagement with businesses to be as frictionless and as easy as possible. And today, over three-quarters of customers have reported not being engaged with their supplier organization that they're dealing with. So the AWS Cognitive Portfolio looks like this, and I'll go through it reasonably quickly, anti-clockwise, because that's also a reflection of customer adoption. First and foremost, at the very top is Amazon Connect, which is, as I mentioned, the omni-channel contact center as a service. All calls are recorded inbound and outbound. There's no telephony carriage to be provisioned. It's part of the service. And it also has a highlight service fee of only 1.8 cents USD per connected minute. It's fully consumption-based pay-as-you-go. There's no licensing, there's no set of costs. And as shown earlier, five steps, five minutes. You get going with Amazon Connect Contact Center as a service easily. AWS then has a number of services that it leverages to deliver to the experience. The first one is AWS Lambda, which is an event-driven serverless compute service. Essentially think about all the challenges associated with telephony integration today in your contact center and customer experience. AWS Lambda will remove that complexity and difficulty. It allows you then to access multiple sources of data, so long as they're open and available, to deliver to those personalized experiences that you would come to expect. Amazon Polly is a dynamic text-to-speech service with 59 personas in 28 languages. It's the first step into making an automated experience at the very front end of your traditional IVR, interactive voice response, service. Amazon Lex is that second phase, natural language understanding, where you can have customers respond to Amazon Polly and in Amazon Connect to drive that IVR experience. And they're the first four that we've seen adopted most commonly in the first phase of implementation. As you evolve with Amazon Connect, you can leverage other services like Amazon SageMaker for prescriptive tooling for machine learning modeling. Amazon Translate, if that's applicable. Amazon Translate has a number of languages that it can support. That tool can be leveraged inside Connect to translate services from voice to text. Alexa for business and home, same brain cell algorithm as Amazon Lex. This is further insight into voice-driven engagement with your organization, should you seek that for your customer experience strategy downstream. Amazon Pinpoint is a push notification capability to mobile apps, SMS, email, voice, with voice analytics built in. We see that as an emerging service capability where you look at outbound and more proactive ways of contacting your customers within the Amazon Connect platform. Amazon Transcribe and Amazon Comprehend are a brother and sister act. Amazon Transcribe is automatic speech recognition from transcribing voice to text. And Amazon Comprehend is the natural language processing of keyword matching and sentiment analysis. Incredibly powerful when it comes to delivering a highly regulated, highly structured delivery of your information to customers that you're engaging with. Amazon Personalize is where we leverage that intelligence to then predict what the next best action should be. It could be a transfer to a team leader. It could be a presentation of a knowledge article. Whatever is appropriate based on what has been derived from that interaction. And last but not least, Amazon Kendra. It was released in December 2019 for Enterprise Search. 
and its machine learning powered knowledge management. And it was an incredible development for us in 2019. So let me dive a little bit into the Amazon Connect service itself from a demonstration of some of the things that are possible. Hi, Nikki Wolf. I apologize that your flight was canceled. I can rebook you for the next available flight, departing at 10 p.m. Would you like to book that now? No, I'd rather rebook for the same time tomorrow. Is that possible? Yes, that flight is available departing at 9 a.m. out of San Francisco, arriving in Seattle at 11.45 a.m. I can book you in seat 12C. It's an aisle. Would you like me to do that? Yes, thank you. Automation is usually the first step, and we talked about the first four components. And this is an example of where, on the left, is an entry point for Amazon Connect. The incoming customer call is identified based on CRM content, or in this case, flight booking system, leveraging Lambda. And Lambda will then drive this announcement from Amazon Polly. And Amazon Polly is influenced by what attributes have been collected in these systems. It could be a billing system, it could be an IT service management system. This human interaction here leverages natural language understanding, Amazon Lex, to drive the next part of the engagement, which is an answer or response to the first step in the process. And as you can see, leveraging poly real-time text-to-speech, you can change this as appropriate. It is intelligent enough to pick up that tomorrow is that specific date and that specific availability based on the integrations that have been taking place at the very beginning with the flight booking system in this example. And then it closes. This example has been done many, many times over routine use cases to simplify the process, enhance the agent experience, and reduce costs. We've seen organizations drive costs down at least 50%, and the TCO benefit can be anywhere up to 10 times value. Let me quickly go through the recent announcements that have come which will further enhance the capability of Amazon Connect, but also show directionally where we're headed. Amazon Connect Chat was released around September or October of last year. And this has been one particular development that is different to every other chat product out in the market. And the reason why it's fundamentally different is it uses one interface to build out the chat experience. Normally, what you would face if you're introducing chatting to your environment, your contact flows, your content, it will need to be either duplicated or recreated for the chat experience, even though you've already built it for the voice experience. But what we've done is put it within the Amazon Connect framework and allowed you to leverage the same contact flows, Lexbots, queues, dashboards, that you may have built within Amazon Connect for voice. And then you just apply that to chat. And this is how it looks to a person who's configured it in the contact flow designer. If you follow the bouncing image of the voice or the handset, this is a voice park following the contact flow that you've designed. By ticking the chat selection within Amazon Connect, you can have the chat function follow the same process. So what you have is a single unified voice and chat customer journey. The agent experience is also unified. So using the tab inside Amazon Connect contact control panel, you can view both interactions that are taking place within the chat as well as having your telephony features available to you should you then invoke the need to have a conversation with a person on the chat platform. The second announcement that happened in 2019 of significance is Contact Lens for Amazon Connect. It brings together the AWS CCX portfolio into the Amazon Connect framework and it is in a preview stage at the moment. But it's a clear indication of where we're headed directionally with Amazon Connect bringing together those AI and ML services that we've seen in the AWS Cognitive CX portfolio into a single framework, which is Amazon Connect. Contact Lens for Amazon Connect has a single transcript for voice and chat interactions with inline sentiment markers. And what that does is it starts bringing together categories of the conversation into a dashboard. Also, it will allow you to visualize the sentiment and the experience that takes place within an interaction and present it in such a way. So what you'll have is a near real-time representation of the sentiment and the interaction taking place with a customer. So those are the highlights. What we talk about is dream big, start small and build fast. 
Amazon Connect is a simple to set up contact center as a service. And it's the first step in that customer experience journey that you're all taking and how you can leverage the underpinning AI and ML services of the AWS cloud to deliver a truly enhanced cognitive customer experience for your customers. Next steps. As I said, visit www.amazon.com connect. There are other sessions throughout the day you can attend and listen to, but there's also an offer for customers for a focused 90-minute session with the AWS CCX team after this, where we can dive deeper into what's possible with AWS, Amazon Connect, and the broader cognitive customer experience portfolio. Thank you so much for taking the time to stay with me for this session. Your time is valuable, and I really appreciate the chance you've given me to share this with you today. If this talk helps you to build something, I would love to hear about it. Please keep in touch on LinkedIn or Twitter. Thanks again.